Today, we'll explore the seven signs that God is about to change your story. Do you feel the winds of evolution stirring within your soul, whispering the secrets of a new dawn on the horizon? Are you ready to decode the divine signals that foretell the transformation of your very destiny? Today we dive deep into the seven unmistakable signs that God is not just near, but actively orchestrating a monumental shift in your life story. We'll pray a powerful prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. So stick around to the end and open up your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. And also, we encourage you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to help spread the word of God. This is not just another chapter in your life, it's the beginning of a new volume, penned by the hand of the Creator Himself. So, buckle up, embrace the change, and let's explore together how close you are to witnessing God's miraculous power transform your story. The first sign is increased challenges. My friends, consider for a moment the nature of our challenges those increased trials that seem to press upon us with a weight heavier than before. It's in these very moments where the struggle intensifies that we find one of the clearest signs that God is preparing to change our stories. When the waves of challenges rise higher, remember, they come not to drown us, but to cleanse us, to prepare us for an ascension into higher realms of faith and blessing. The scripture in James 1, 2-4 urges us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. These trials, then, are not merely obstacles, but divine instruments designed to refine us. Why, you might ask, does this increase in adversity signal a forthcoming change in our story? It is because our God does not build for the temporary, He builds for eternity. And just as a builder increases the strength of the foundation in anticipation of a taller building, so too does our Heavenly Father fortify us through trials, preparing us to carry the weight of greater glory. Let us not be deceived, brethren, by the enemy's tactics. The devil, indeed, does not desire our prosperity and will endeavor to discourage us, to sow seeds of despair. But we are called to rise, to push through the soil of adversity like seeds destined to bloom under the nurturing rays of God's promises. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory, the darker the night, the brighter the dawn. Our perseverance through these challenges is itself a proclamation of our faith, a testimony to the world that our God is faithful and His plans for us are for prosperity and not disaster, to give us a future filled with hope. Jeremiah 29 11. So let this understanding dwell richly in your hearts. When challenges increase, when the night seems darkest, anticipate the dawn. Prepare your hearts, strengthen your faith, for you are being refined for a purpose greater than you can imagine. This is not the end of your story, but a pivotal chapter in a grand divine narrative written by the hand of God Himself. Hold fast. For your deliverance is near, and it will come with blessings that far outweigh the trials you face today. Number 2. Unexpected Opportunities In the journey of faith, there are moments when it seems that we face nothing but impenetrable walls, insurmountable obstacles that block our path. Yet, it is in these precise moments that God often chooses to open new doors, creating pathways where none seem to exist guiding us towards new horizons that He has ordained for us. Consider the profound truth found in Isaiah 43, 19, where the Lord declares, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This scripture beautifully encapsulates the divine principle of unexpected opportunities. It's a divine echo that resonates with the assurance that God is ever at work, turning barrenness into bounty and desolation, into deliverance. Why then are these sudden openings of opportunity a sign that God is about to change your story? It is because our God is a strategic God. He is a master planner who knows the end from the beginning. When God brings forth opportunities that align unexpectedly with the deep desires of your heart, 
or thrusts you into roles that you never imagined, he is orchestrating your steps towards a divine destiny that perhaps was once hidden from your sight. Take, for example, the life of David, the shepherd boy who became a king. David's journey to the throne began in the pastures, a seemingly insignificant role far removed from royalty. Yet it was his encounter with Goliath that presented an unexpected opportunity, a doorway to demonstrate his faith and courage. David, armed only with a sling and a few stones, stepped into an opportunity that most would have seen as a death sentence. Yet, in 1 Samuel 17, 37, David declared, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. His victory over Goliath was not just a display of bravery, but a pivotal moment that shifted his path from the fields of obscurity to the halls of the monarchy. So, when you encounter opportunities that surprise you, that challenge you, that excite you, pay attention. These are not coincidences, but divine appointments crafted by the hands of your Creator. They are indicators that God is actively involved in your life, guiding you towards a future filled with His promises. Let us therefore be vigilant and receptive. Do not disregard the small openings, the subtle shifts in your circumstances. For God often moves in whispers, in gentle nudges, that if followed, lead to profound changes. These unexpected opportunities are your invitations to step into the great story God has written for you. They are beckoning you to leave the familiar behind and embark on a journey that will unfold in His perfect timing and His perfect will. Embrace these opportunities with faith, with prayer, and with a heart willing to venture into new territories. For just as Joshua was commanded to arise and cross the Jordan to inherit the promised land, so too may you be standing on the brink of your promised future, ready to step into the fullness of what God has prepared for you. Be bold, be courageous, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 Number 3. Sense of Unrest with the Status Quo on the journey of life, guided by the profound wisdom of God, there often comes a moment, a divine nudge, if you will, that stirs a restless spirit within us. This feeling of unrest with the status quo is not merely a transient desire for change, but rather a potent sign that God is about to rewrite your story. It is as if the Lord himself plants a seed of divine dissatisfaction within us, prompting us not to settle for what has been, but to strive for what could be. This sense of unrest is not to be feared nor ignored, for it is God's invitation to step out of the familiar and embark on a transformative journey towards a higher calling. Consider Moses, a man who led a life away from the complexities of his royal ties in Egypt, only to encounter God in the burning bush on Mount Horeb. God spoke to him from the midst of the fire. I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Exodus 3, 7. It was this pivotal moment that propelled Moses out of his comfort zone and into a divine mission, leading his people towards liberation. Like Moses, you might feel a profound dissatisfaction with your present circumstances, a sign that God is preparing you for a monumental task, for an elevation in your spiritual and earthly journey. This divine unrest often leads us to question the purpose and value of our current endeavors. It pulls us toward greater achievements and deeper spiritual fulfillment. It whispers in our hearts that we are meant for more than routine, that our lives hold a greater purpose aligned with God's magnificent plan. When this sense of unrest emerges, it is accompanied by a heightened desire to pursue righteousness, to deepen our relationship with Christ, and to manifest the kingdom of heaven here on earth through our actions and decisions. For those feeling this divine discontent, the path forward lies in seeking God's direction through prayer and scripture. Embrace this season of divine unrest as a sacred indicator that God is calling you to a higher purpose. It is a call to step out in faith, to cast off the old ways, and to embrace the new story God is writing for you. Let this sense of divine dissatisfaction not lead to despair, 
but to a hopeful anticipation of God's blessings and a future crafted by His hand. For it is in these moments of deep personal challenge that we are often being prepared for the greatest blessings, those that align our stories with God's glorious narrative. Number 4. Confirmation from Others When you sense that God is about to change your story, pay close attention to the words and encouragement that come your way, as they might very well be the affirmations you need to step forward in faith. Take, for instance, the story of Gideon in Judges 6, where God sends an angel to confirm his plans for Gideon to lead Israel against their oppressors. Even with this heavenly visitation, Gideon seeks further confirmation through the fleece test. God graciously responds, not once but twice, affirming his promise. Similarly, in the New Testament, Paul, the great apostle, often received affirmations from others on his missionary journeys. In Acts 15.28 it says, It seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us, showing how communal discernment played a crucial role in guiding early church decisions. This sign, confirmation from others, is vital for several reasons. Firstly, it serves as external validation of our internal discernment, helping us to see beyond our biases and uncertainties. Secondly, it fosters a sense of community and shared purpose within the body of Christ. As stated in 1 Corinthians 12, 27, now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Here, Paul teaches us that every believer plays a role in the collective mission of the church, including providing guidance and confirmation to one another. Proverbs 15.22 reminds us, Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors they succeed. This wisdom underscores the importance of seeking and heeding godly advice as a sign of divine confirmation. Therefore, as you discern God's call to change your story, or to undertake a new chapter in your life, be attentive to the confirmations that come through the voices of those God has placed in your life. Let their words that resonate with your spiritual aspirations and scriptural insights be a clear signal of God's guidance. Number 5. Peace Amidst Uncertainty This peace often found in the most unexpected moments of our turmoil is not just a fleeting sense of calm, but a profound indication that God is meticulously at work behind the scenes of our lives. It is one of the clear signs that God is preparing to change your story. Imagine for a moment the sheer magnitude of realizing that amidst the whirlwind of your circumstances, whether upheaval in the world, strife in your home, or storms within your own heart, there lies an opportunity to choose. To choose to focus not on the chaos, but on the Creator. This choice, this pivotal decision to set your heart and mind on God above all else, becomes the gateway to experiencing His perfect peace. In Isaiah 26.3, the scripture gently reminds us, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Herein lies the key. Steadfastness in our trust in God. A trust that steadies us even when the ground beneath seems to tremble. It is in these depths that God's presence becomes ever so clear, not as a distant observer, but as a patient companion waiting with open arms for us to choose Him, to prioritize Him over our trials and tribulations. In doing so, we don't just find peace. We are enveloped by it, cocooned in a sanctuary set apart by God Himself. Peace amidst uncertainty is not merely about quieting the noise around us, but about aligning our spirits with the divine orchestrations of God. Hold on to faith with tenacity, trusting in God's sovereign power over your stories. Let it be reassuring that your current chapter is set for a divine rewrite by the hand of the Almighty. Let the narrative of peace be a testament to God's unwavering fidelity. Let it serve as a beacon when you are lost in the fog of uncertainty, a lighthouse guiding you back to the shores of divine promise and potential. Let this message not only inform but transform, as it is in transformation that the true testimony of God's mighty hand is revealed in our lives. Number 6. Loss of what no longer serves you. As we traverse through different seasons of our existence, we encounter various relationships, occupations, 
and passions. Each of these serves a distinct purpose, aiding our development, providing comfort, or teaching us valuable lessons. However, there comes a time when the Divine Gardener begins the pruning process, cutting away those aspects of our lives that no longer contribute to our growth. This shedding, while painful, is not merely an act of taking away but a profound preparation for receiving new and greater blessings that lie ahead. Consider the metaphor of the vineyard, where the vintner prunes the vines, not out of spite, but to enhance their fruitfulness. John 15.2 says, He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. Here, the loss of branches is not a punishment, but a necessary part of increasing yield. Similarly, when we lose relationships that stagnate our spirits, jobs that no longer align with our divine purpose or interests that distract rather than fulfill, it is God's way of making room for new growth. It is His strategic positioning of our lives to better receive the blessings He has in store. This concept of divine pruning challenges us to shift our perspective from one of loss to one of preparation and anticipation. It encourages us to trust in the Almighty's grand plan, even when our human understanding is clouded by the immediacy of our pain. It is a call to remain steadfast in faith, recognizing that what is being removed is making space for what is ultimately for our good and for the furtherance of our mission on earth. This, in essence, is the beauty of our faith, the assured hope in the unseen, the steadfast belief in a future orchestrated by the divine hand of God, who transforms our losses into gateways for new blessings. Number 7. Inner Conviction to Prepare This transformative impulse is not merely an arbitrary feeling, but a spiritual prompting, an internal stir designed to align our earthly conduct with heavenly plans. When you sense a deep-seated urge to refine your skills, organize your surroundings or reform your habits, recognize this as more than a mundane motivation. It is, in essence, a clarion call from God, signaling that it's time to prepare for the new chapters He is ready to write in your life. Scripture illuminates this truth beautifully in 2 Timothy 2.21, where it is written, Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. Here the Apostle Paul isn't merely advocating for physical cleanliness or moral uprightness. He's urging us toward a holistic readiness. This readiness encompasses every aspect of our being, spiritual, physical, intellectual, and emotional preparing us to be vessels through which God can manifest His glory. The inner conviction to prepare is often accompanied by specific revelations about areas in our lives that require attention or adjustment. Perhaps it's a skill that needs honing, which once perfected, could open doors to opportunities previously beyond our reach. Maybe it's an environment cluttered not just with items, but with old grievances or outdated commitments where cleaning up would create space not just in our homes but in our hearts. Or it could be habits that detract rather than add value to our lives, where change could realign us with our God-given purpose. Recognizing this sign requires introspection and discernment, qualities that allow us to see beyond the superficial changes into the deeper divine orchestration at play. It's about understanding that each action taken in preparation is not just a step towards personal improvement, but an act of obedience to divine direction. As we respond to this inner conviction, we align our movements with God's timing, positioning ourselves to not only receive His blessings, but to become conduits for His work on earth. This inner stirring should be viewed as a sacred echo in our souls, a resonance of readiness that prepares us for the impending unfolding of God's master plan. Each act of preparation, each change we implement, each skill we enhance is a pivotal part of the groundwork for what is divinely destined. As you feel this urge, embrace it with both reverence and excitement, for it marks the beginning of a transformative journey that not only prepares you for future blessings, but also deepens your relationship with the Creator, who has chosen you for such a time as this. 
And so as we are about to pray, remember these signs are God's gentle yet powerful assurances that he is actively rewriting our stories, guiding us from paths of uncertainty to roads rich with promise and purpose. When we encounter these signs, it's as if God is drawing close, whispering that the chapters of trials are turning, making way for new beginnings filled with hope and abundance. So, as we prepare to enter into this time of prayer, let us acknowledge the signs of God's imminent blessings. Let us embrace the divine narrative He is authoring in our lives, and with hearts overflowing with gratitude and eyes lifted heavenward, let us seek His guidance and grace. For in His story, we find our true purpose, and in His will, we discover peace and joy beyond measure. Let us pray, united in faith and ignited by the Holy Spirit, ready to witness the glorious unfolding of our transformed stories. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts open to your divine orchestration, acknowledging your boundless grace and the profound ways you move in our lives. Lord, we thank you for the signs of your unending love and the gentle nudges that guide our steps. In your infinite wisdom, you prepare us for blessings beyond our comprehension. And today, we express our deepest gratitude for your involvement in every moment of our existence. Lord, grant us the wisdom to discern the signs you have placed before us. Help us to understand the echoes of your voice in the quiet moments and the loud, so that we may truly recognize the direction and intentions you have for us. As we navigate the waters of change, provide us with the strength and courage to endure, to remain steadfast in the face of transformation, and to trust in your perfect plan for our lives. In times of uncertainty, when the future unfolds in unexpected ways, we seek your peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, so that we may walk confidently through the storms knowing you are with us. Father, we ask for your loving hand to help us release the burdens of our past, the hurts that bind us, and the fears that limit our potential, so we may step forward into the new beginnings you have prepared for us. As you lead us into new phases of life, open our hearts to fully embrace the opportunities for growth and renewal. Guide our decisions, ensuring they align with your will, and prepare us to take on new roles and responsibilities with grace and humility. Heal us, Lord, from any loss we have encountered in this pruning process, and fill those empty spaces with your love and light. Teach us patience to wait on your timing with hopeful expectation, trusting that your plans are always for our good. Protect us from negative influences and obstacles that seek to divert our path, and instead, instill in us a spirit of joy and positivity as we undergo transformation. Cultivate within us relationships that are supportive and nurturing, helping us to grow and thrive under your careful watch. We pray for the grace to relinquish control, to let go and let God, fully submitting to your supreme authority over our lives. Foster in us a deeper spiritual maturity. Renew our faith and trust in your promises, strengthening our resolve to follow you without reservation. Grant us insight into the spiritual lessons of this season, that we may glean wisdom and understanding as we advance. Let our lives be a testimony to your goodness, inspiring and blessing others through the changes we embrace. And Lord, endow us with the endurance to persevere through every phase of our journey, keeping our faith unwavering and our commitment to your path unshakable. In all things we seek to glorify you, to reflect your love and light on a world in need. As we gather here, as a community and audience on this platform, Unite us in purpose and in spirit, amplifying our impact as we share your word and your love with the world. Bless each one listening, each soul reached through this prayer, that they too may feel your presence and know the joy of your salvation. We thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and the marvelous works you perform in our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Type Amen in the comment section if you are blessed by this video. Also, please help us spread this uplifting message by sharing it with the people you know. And remember to like and subscribe to support this channel. And so remember, embrace this journey with a heart full of hope and eyes wide open to the wonders that lie ahead. God does not call the equipped. 
he equips the called. And as he prepares to change your story, he is also equipping you with everything you need for the road ahead. Your story is about to shift in miraculous ways, and this change is a testament to the limitless possibilities that faith in God can bring. As you step forward into this new chapter, carry with you the lessons of today. Let them be the lamp for your feet and the light on your path. Stand firm in the knowledge that the God who has begun this good work in you will carry it on to completion. Do not fear transformation, for in every ending there is a new beginning, and in every goodbye there is a hello waiting just around the corner. Share your journey, share the signs you witness, and let your story be one that inspires and uplifts others. As we part ways today, go forth with the assurance that God is with you, loving you, guiding you, and using your life as a powerful narrative of His grace and purpose. Thank you for joining me today. May your hearts be filled with the courage to embrace the change, the faith to walk confidently into your new story, and the love to spread the light you have received. God bless you all and remember the best is yet to come.